An atom we know has three different types of particles. What are these? I am sure we all know it. Protons, electrons and neutrons. Now when we look at the individual masses of protons, electrons and neutrons, we find out that the mass of an electron is practically negligible as compared to the proton and the neutron. So whenever we need to find the total mass of an atom, we take it as a sum of the masses of protons and neutrons because we can practically ignore electrons. So what do we define atomic mass as? Atomic mass is the sum of the masses of the protons and the neutrons in that atom. Now going to the molecule. Molecules can be defined as molecules are formed when two or more atoms combine chemically in a fixed proportion. Summarizing that again, molecules are formed when two or more atoms combine chemically in a fixed proportion. So we have molecular mass as the mass of two or more atoms which are combining chemically in a fixed proportion. Now this is also referred to as the relative molecular mass and the units are defined as the atomic mass units. So if we want to figure out, let's say for example, the molecular mass of one molecule of sodium hydroxide, what do we need to do? We need to add the atomic masses of the individual constituent atom. So how do we do it? We have sodium hydroxide, the formula, sodium, oxygen, hydrogen, one atom each. So we have the formula NaOH. So if we want to find out the molecular mass of NaOH, we need to add the atomic mass of sodium, oxygen and hydrogen respectively. So what is the atomic mass of sodium? 23 atomic mass units. Oxygen, 16 atomic mass units. And hydrogen, 1 atomic mass unit. So what's the total molecular mass? Is 16 plus 23 plus 1 which is 40 atomic mass units. Pretty simple. Now one more different point which we must take care of is at times the substances have constituent ions as the particles. Now, in this case, instead of the molecular mass, we refer to the term formula unit mass. So, for example, if we are looking at, let's say, nitric acid. Now, the formula unit of nitric acid is SNO3 because the constituent particles are iron. So, the process of finding out the formula unit mass remains pretty much the same. It's only the nomenclature which changes. So, if you want to find out the formula unit mass of HNO3, what do we do? We need to add the individual atomic masses. So we have H, N and O3. So H, hydrogen 1 atomic mass unit, nitrogen 14 atomic mass unit, oxygen since we have 3 atoms, so we have 16 into 3, 48 atomic mass units. So what's the total formula unit mass of HNO3? We have oxygen 16 into 3, 48 plus nitrogen 14. So 48 plus 14 is 62 and hydrogen 1. So that makes it 63 atomic mass units. So what do we have as a summary? That molecules are two or more atoms combining chemically in a fixed proportion and molecular mass is the sum total of all the atomic masses and in the substances where the constituents are ions, we instead of molecular mass use the term formula unit mass but the process is still the same that it is the sum total of individual atomic mass.